Well, that was interesting. That was not the game's fault, but that was a nice big old crash. A nice big old crash indeed. I do wish the... I, I do wish the stream would stay up for like a couple of minutes. Like, I, I'd be back in a minute. Streamlabs, just, you know, calm down. Just don't disconnect. Well, Streamlabs, Streamlabs gonna do what Streamlabs gonna do. And Streamlabs is going to disconnect your ass. And that is all you can hope to think and say about it, frankly. Which is mildly infuriating. But oh well. Right, let me just get the... There, update that, and save that, and okay. On the bright side, it does auto-save, thank heavens. To be fair, I would probably be rather pissed off if there wasn't auto-saving in a game today. That would probably be rather infuriating, in fact, but there is... So I don't think we lose all that much in the way of progress, if indeed anything, really. Alright. Back at it again. Uh, what was I doing? That's a very good question. Ah, okay, so we're one turn away from that, and... Okay, we need to end the turn. Right. Uh, Jant Bellamy says, You won't remember me, but I de-transitioned. Oh, did you know? Um, hmm. Well, no, you are right, unfortunately. Like, it's like... I... See, now I feel bad. Now, now you say that, I'm like, Ah, oh, but I should remember you, though, because you're a real-life human being and stuff. <laughs> but there are too many people. Who send me messages. But, okay. Oh, Detransition, huh? Well, I mean, I hope you'll be happy this time around. You know? It's... Ah, it's a damnable business, the whole transitioning thing. For some people, it is absolutely the correct choice. I know people that have been far happier, happier up, 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 off afterwards. But clearly, it is also not for everyone. Lots of people. Yes, indeed. See, I at least I feel bad about it. And I'm like, ah, but I should. Fun story. I remember one of the first times I talked to uh, Dev, Short Fighter Taku. And, well, actually, it was the second time I talked to Dev, Short Fighter Taku. Because he said, Arch, you know me. <laughs> We've talked. And I, I remember my feeling at the time. And I was just like, who the fuck is this person? How did I forget about this person? <laughs> God, it, it was one of those moments when you're just like racking your minds like, is he lying to me? Do I know him? Should I feel bad now? Should I apologize? What has happened here? And it turns out, by, by met, we messaged once on Twitter, so I blame Dev for that one. I don't blame myself, I blame Dev. I absolutely blame Dev for that one. That was not my fault. Uh, now, you go back to auto-exploring, like I told you to last time. And... Found a city. And now I need to have them border each other. So we'll begin moving over there. Uh, Jarplum also says, and yeah, I'm the happiest I've ever been. I have some good friends who really hate my mental health. Well, good for you. That's fantastic. As long as it works out, everything is fine. Again, like, ah, God. That is genuinely one of the more complex uh, philosophical questions of our current day, the entire transitioning thing, because there is a genuine need for a lot of people. Well, a lot of people. There is a genuine need for some people. And at the same time, there are also far too many people who get pushed into it for very, very poor reasons and end up considerably worse off because of it. 
It is a sad, sad situation. I actually think we handle it relatively well here in Norway, because, um... We will give you medical aid to do so, to transition, if you want it, but you have to go through, like, two years of therapy first, because they want to make goddamn sure that you really, really, really do want this before they do it, because, of course, once done, it is considerably more difficult to undo. Legion 6. I have almost about to level up, I think. President Irina Vladimirnova Putina says, I wonder if it's possible to remain blue-pilled after detransitioning. It has to be quite the red pill. Uh, probably, yes. Uninhabitable mountains. Prospect province. Really? I can prospect the province. Oh, nice. There are a lot of mechanics in this game. I like games with lots of mechanics, and so I quite like this game so far. Pigs. A pig don't want fight. That's too bad for pigs. Like, that's downright tragic, piggy wiggies, but we're dwarves. We don't like pigs around here. You are going to wait for your next army to actually arrive. Plus, I don't want that place to be pillaged before it actually builds anything. Um, stone mason, wizard tower, wizard thing, room of recall. All of these things are probably cute, but I don't know. Plus five Imperium income. Is that a whole lot, is it? It is something. How is my happiness? Are they, are they pleased? No, they're rather perturbed. Fine, well, well the bathhouse then. That'll make you happy. Hmm. And a blacksmith. Blacksmith sounds useful too. You are close to reaching your maximum numbers. Am I? Ah, I can only have three. Okay. Bulwark One. Well, that's a fairly actually reasonable name. Everything considered. Uh, well, you're gonna want that, and you're gonna want that, and you're gonna want that too. So you know, build them all. And that will get me the conduit for the objective. Yay. Speaking of objective, kill, kill. Beware. You are engaging combat with a high tier unit. unit with a high tier unit. Eh, just kill it. See? Wasn't all that dangerous. Now, where is sister? There is sister. A steel shaper crawls out of a hiding spot. I knew someone would come looking for me eventually. I, I hid as the last army was slaughtered, but you seem tougher. I hid down there for days, I think, eating lava and slimy moss to survive. The girl chuckles and produces such like, ah, ah, fun times. But it was worth it, the tunnels surrounding the gold vein are teeming with rubies. Oh. Rescuing me, please accept the treasure I discovered. My skills are at the service of Chaos Prince Arch, the fur fag. Because that is what I am now, just, just a furry. Uh, will Archtopia thrive through production? Bathau change from six to one turn. Oh, that's quick. Oh. I'm do knowledge. You get a steel shaper. I'm happy that you are safe. Ha! That bitch. Work on my bathhouse, woman. Like I'm not kidding. Like I'm happy or safe, but I'd be happier with a bathhouse. So, chop chop. Um, oh, can you be a governor and a general? Y you seem to. Okay, nice. Well, in that case, go ahead. Uh, right. I should found myself another city, though. Well, he's going to do the whole road. Ah, stop that road buildy thing. And... Ooh, hello. Ooh. Are you enemies most vile and fiendish coming in my general direction? I do believe they are. Hmm. Shut up, sheep. Oh, God, I do hate that you can't click on the bloody banners. Hmm. Well, ain't that just perturbing and problematic? 
tier one, tier one, tier one. I mean, they're not necessarily the scariest units in the entire universe, but they are units. Infectious Insanity. Makes base attack of enhanced enchanted units. Range units to any army skill level makes me inflict misfortune. Ten percent fumble chance, whatever the hell that is. Random units with certain range. That sounds ass. I don't want that. That sounds terrible. Alright, let's get some unit summoning stuff. Some gremlins might be useful. I don't even know what they are. They are skirmishing units. Fiendish skirmishing units. There you are. Uh, Jared Bellamy also says, Honestly, I wish the therapist had tried to talk to me more about transitioning. Instead, they just kind of accepted me, telling that I was certain I can be quite convincing. No, like, that is genuinely one of the issues. The, th the, the therapist's relationship with somebody considering to transition should be actively antagonistic. That person's job should be to talk you out of it, and if you manage to then get through that, then clearly you are determined and you can go ahead. But the problem is far too many of the um, psychiatrists, well, they're literally trained to just go like, Oh, you want to transition? Well, that's great. Go on. I don't even know why you're here. The state just mandates it. <sighs> I've been so often to visit you with a concerned look. Our defense is lacking. I arduously serve your ambitions for you. I venture into the wilderness or invade your rival's territories. But now that I've started a family, my priorities have shifted. These days, my mind lingers with my family inside your borders. I have witnessed the ferocity of our enemy's forces. Our realm's protectors cannot withstand them. We need powerful reinforcements. Okay. We'll be dismissed from service. No. Hmm. I will deliver the silver tongue fruit. Wow. Ah. Oh, apparently it's over there. Okay. You know, I feel like this bastard is really, really demanding of me. Like, every few turns he's like, Hey, my favorite horse died. Like, hey, my sister's lost. Hey, my house is undefended. Just, mother fuck it. who's the master here? <sighs> right, well, he has an ass load of really powerful units. Um... I mean, he's been completely uh, trade passive so far. Is there any way I can engage in diplomacy with him? To tell them to like, hey, attack my enemies. Diplomacy? Uh, oh, it's just that window. Well, okay, well, I I tried. Well, maybe he'll attack when he gets invaded by all this garbage. We can but hope. Meantime... You should go out there and join up with that unit. And... Do we summon gremlins down here or up there? Hmm. Here for now. Let the gremlins, let the gremlins. All right. Well, they're definitely coming from my ally, which is uh, less than that foolish deal. Hmm. One more unit is done. You know what? Since you bitch about me about the fruit, I guess I'll get the fruit first, and then I'll come save your ass from the invading elf hordes. Yes. Distracting whispers. Each two turns, one of the ten years of an episode of interception. Distracted until the end of combat. Uh-huh. Well, let's see what they can do. 
Matthew Romulus says, Hey Arch, does your channel have a Discord? Uh, sort of. I'm too busy to really use it much these days, but sort of. Uh, President Irina Vladimir Nova Putin says, I'll see you later, Arch. Recently finished making the custom visual novel General, General UI via Hotjar and 4 mod. I need to get some writing in before work tonight. Good. Productivity is beneficial. Work hard and you will be rewarded. Maybe. Possibly. I hope so, at least. Gang up, little boys. Gang up. Come at me, bros. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Wait. Couldn't you do that thing? Ah, no. It's just friendly unit. Okay. Well, I thought for a moment that he'd had the AOE bless thing. It did not. All right. Let's just gang the fuck up on them, I guess. And cast that fanciful little spell because it makes things blow up. All right, magic blast. Keep hit him. And you guys, just, um... I feel like battering myself bloody against these guys is not necessarily the best thing in the world. Uh, being taunted, he's going to use Galanta's defense mode. Let's try that. We'll tell them that their mothers had paltry beards. And then we'll hit them a little bit. Ow! Okay, that hurts. I feel like things hurt a lot in this video game. Alright, well you can go over there and actually just kill that. Uh, I've got a better chance of hitting these, so we're gonna shoot at that. You're gonna kill those and outflank that unit in the process. And magic. And kill. Nice. Hello, little skirmishers. Bet you didn't expect me to get up close and personal with you, did you? No. Yeah, it's very frustrating that you decided to just leave, but I do still believe I have some magic that can maybe put you out of your misery. There. I don't know why the flowers in this particular area is purple, either, by the way. Purple flowers doesn't seem entirely natural to me. Damn. My stupid little rats don't do enough damage to kill them. Even when they're flanking them and shit. Darnation. Well, victory is victory. There, I've gotten you your silver tongue fruit, whatever the hell that is. I hope you're happy now, and stop whining at me. Meanwhile, you go hide behind that city, so as to not get completely butt-violated by the incoming hordes of mean old enemies. You're building shit. Have I unlocked anything interesting here again now? That sounds useful. Ten plus in knowledge. I should have gotten that already. That's actually pretty good. Oh, you can have both. Hmm. It's not worth the 150 Imperium right now, though, I don't think. <gasps> Fish. 
fish. It's like uh, farmland, but uh, wetter. Literally, that, that appears to be exactly what it is. It's farmland, but wetter. Right. And now that we are bordering, I should also get the benefit from that plus 10 income thing. Vile, filthy, elven faggots. And they're summoning shit on the march, too. Most sneaky-deaky. Most sneaky-deaky, indeed. Hmm. I'm presuming they're here to siege my ally's city. Which would put us on roughly even footing. Meaning that I'm tempted to just go for their capital province right about now. I'm still getting quite a bit of uh, income, so let's get another gremlin in the summoning queue. Because they're kind of cute and retarded looking. And we'll begin scouting towards the bad people's homes. In fact, I have actual literal score scouts that could go do that. Research. Uh, immolate. Sounds cute. Outpost province. What? What? I don't remember making that. Uh, work comes along for the annexation of a single province to the outpost. I don't remember building this. Yeah. Uh, destroy. I thought that was the outpost. Because hmm. I don't see any point in having one there. Like, if anything, I'd build it over there or I'd take over their stuff, I guess. And we did choose some look something new. Chaos Empire. Raising cities, grand one population, one of the cities, fed with three population of the city that was raised. Okay, not too bad. That one. Because we like bringing other people's people over here and making them our people. Now would be a good time to insert an ad, says YouTube. Uh, would it? Wait, so my allies don't join me? Huh. Okay, so the vassals are the vassals are definitely not your allies then. That is weird. Eh, well, we're gonna have to try and do it manually. Hmm. Hmm. Hum indeed. I'd kind of expected their army to, you know, help, but uh apparently not. And there doesn't seem to be anything in the Diplomacy tab to make them help, either. If you retreat, what happens? I have no idea. I presume you just honestly die or something equally horrific. Right. Well, if we're gonna try and at least skirmish with them first... We are obviously gonna want to fight as little of their overall army as possible. At a time. This also means the AI can see my army in the fog of war, incidentally, because I figured they were moving over here to attack my ally, because the ally's city, of course, can be seen on the map. But my army, which couldn't be seen on the map, was the one they beelined for. So uh, I'm, I'm guessing they just have a little bit of, uh, you know, extra vision just to, to make sure the AI can uh, do some informed decisions, shall we say. Come on, little elves bastards. If you want me, you're going to have to come get me. They have certainly elected to come get me. Hmm. Let's do that. Alright, you've got the Assassin's Dagger, which is not going to help me here over much, but I can fire some Bolts of Fire, which is going to help me. Uh, 
Gonna help me quite a bit, actually. Nice. Bring the dogs over there. Oh, I should have rotated this unit first because it's standing now in a very, very, very retarded direction, isn't it? I need to start remembering to actually rotate units because I keep forgetting about that. I keep expecting them to just, you know, face in a sensible position and they really, really don't. They face in the direction of March, which means that they face in very, very stupid directions most of the time. Yeah, and the AI then just attacks that unit with absolutely everything. Yeah. Uh, it would be nice, too, if there was a little marker underneath the unit that was like, Hey, it's facing in this direction. Do you want to do anything about it? That would have been nice, too. All right. 1970 or kill that one so we're gonna kill that one attack the metal spear guys all right not too bad hmm Blazing of the Horde will do some damage, but it won't really do the damage I need. Instead, we're going to do that so I can kill that unit, hopefully. Nope. Oh, it would have been nicer if I had killed it, because then I could have turned towards the enemy, but... Such is life. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to try and get the hero out of here at the very least, because... Uh, with that many units, they... Oh, wow. Okay, that... All right. It's like, I have a spell that makes my melee unit kill yours in one turn. Oh. Well, I highly recommend you keep using that unit ability because that's very, very ridiculously powerful. Yes. Just a million ranged units. All right. Oh, you can't retreat on the map over there. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll start pulling out of here then. And I guess we're about to figure out what uh, moving off the map does. Any, if, if anything at all. Mist. Nice. The weird little plants are uh, helping me by allowing me to avoid my enemy's fury. That elven furry. I have a lot of mages. Yes, I have realized this. Uh, lose health, move points after battle. I mean... Uh, okay, there we go. Off you go. And off you go. Alright, so... No, that just... Okay, so the army just dies. Oh, what the fuck is the point of the retreat button then? It's like, we are going to give you the option to retreat. Okay, what does it do? Well, it kills all your units. Uh-huh. <laughs> what exactly is the point of retreating then? <sighs> Okay, did it at least, like, let the hero escape or something? Or does it just actually wipe your army? Uh, no, he gets uh, captured. Okay. Yeah, so retreating seems uh, very pointless. As it just seems to kill your ass. Uh, now, it would be really nice if I can actually, you know, get this... Uh, vassal to, you know, harp, but uh, that doesn't seem to be a thing the wa vassal could do. Hmm. Well, that cost me an army, assuming that the vassal would do something. 
Oh, I do have more units up here, so I'll have a better chance in the next fight. Uh, did that get the spell ready? Didn't it? I th thought... Yes, spell ready. Summon Gremlin. Right. Summon Gremlin. On the bright side, it certainly frees up a lot of unit upkeep, which is very nice, yes. And another tome. Um, I need something nice and offensive. Hmm. Frog has a bolt repeater thrower. That sounds kind of siege magic. Ooh. Now that sounds fun. Let's get that. Artifice. Think is the ultimate expression of genius made physical. To translate something as intangible as an idea into a working, walking automaton is truly a magnificent thing. When one can turn such creations into behemoths, marrying machine with magic that can level or raise a city, they may veritably claim the title of artificer. Nito Cheeto. Nito Cheeto, indeed. Well, my counter-offensive is going to have to wait for a bit. Going for Gold 85 has been a uh, member for three months. Lovely. Thank you for your long-term support, sir. Uh, Matthew Rumler says, I believe retreating gives your units a chance to survive, but they don't always. If they do, apparently they appear at a nearby town. Uh, well... In that case, I don't think anything lived then. Which is a pinch disappointing. Alright, so... Are they still down here? Are they fighting? I don't know, like, they, they've deployed units, but I don't know if they're... doing anything with them. Alright, well, if they're gonna... Right, Gremlin... You go over with the other gremlins. We can't have gremlins intermixing with good normal people. That would just be weird, frankly. Well, we might have to buy ourselves a new army. Unless we can rescue him from the dungeons, which would be kind of cool. Let's see. So, this... Yeah, that's where their city is. All right, that's valuable information. Let's try and hunt down those armies first, and then we'll go for their city. Um, let's build some fortress walls and shit over here. I am a little worried by the fact that I don't really have any defenses over in that direction, so a little bit, uh, a little bit extra to guard my ass seems valuable. Gain the breastplate of the champion hero item, or mines grants 10 draft. And neither one's th that interesting for the time being. Oh, you can't... Oh. Oh, no, that was not what I intended to do. Well, I guess I'll just try and retreat. So I was hoping there was a retreat button there, where you could just be like, Well, I'm just gonna retreat, because it's literally a scout army. Uh, self ammo. Um, if you lose the battle, the unit will either die or scatter and reappear one of six after a few turns. Okay, so it takes a few turns before they maybe reappear. Alright, so there, there really is no actual scouting in the game because your scouts can't actually disengage. So, if you're going to be scouting, you'd better be doing it in force. Oh, Bane the Sorcerer stole my coveted Whirlwind Blade, did he? Did he do so from the enemy's prison? Because that's where he is right now. Sure, yeah, no, that'd be excellent. Hey, it's like, 
Send him over... Okay, so I have extracted him from my enemy's dungeons to send him to my allies' dungeons. Well, I can then hopefully maybe try and get him out sooner? I don't know, because apparently they just got him from the enemy's dungeons right there, so that's nice. Um, do I... God, I will say this, the diplomacy in the game does feel rather bare bones at times, because I don't think there's actually anything I can do here. I can't trade him. I guess I can boost allegiance yet further, and maybe they'll eventually just be like, Oh, hey! We found this raggedy-ass rat in our dungeons. Do you uh, want him back or something? Was he, was, was he important? Uh, I honestly don't know. He, he was just down here. Right, I'll keep moving those up. I have this sneaking suspicion that the enemy units are now just going to leave. And just be like, yep, we're not going to be here no more. All right. What? No. Oh, I can't even step on their quarries. See, okay, this is kind of retarded because the enemy has more movement freedom in my vassal's territory than I do. So, it's a bit retarded. Ah, okay, so one of the hound masters did live, but well, I don't want you no more, so, uh, die. Right, is the next thing about about done? It is. Oh, fucking really? Like, okay, so I literally can... Ugh, okay, right, well, I've got the seafooding thing, I can just research it. There. I swear to Jesus, video game. If you're gonna be like, no, they're in the ocean now. You can't possibly get perhaps you them on there. The ocean. You're you're actually gonna do this to me, aren't you, video game? You're you're actually gonna do that. It's like, no, no, no. Ships are immune to warfare. You're you are actually gonna do that. Are uh, you? Uh, piece of shit. So, is there just no way to get him released now beyond waiting, I guess? Is there naval combat in the video game? I sure do hope so. I sure, sure, really, really, really do hope so. Yes, there is. Thank Jesus. Thank Lord Almighty. Now, let's see what the naval combat looks like. Alright. Um, boats. What? The, I guess the boats are just like the normal units, but boats? Looks like it, pretty much, yes. Okay. Well, uh, fair enough. Pinch lacy. So, so it doesn't really, you know, do anything with the, the whole naval thing at all, but... Uh, meh, meh, meh. Hardly the worst thing in the world. All right. Hmm. That would do a lot of damage to them right off the bat. Boom. There. You are now on fire, good sir. I feel like that should probably be very inconvenient for your wooden ships. Wait. Can I undo that? I can. Are you in range? You are in range. Lovely. Uh, zap.
Do you have a ranged attack? Um, behind you. Alright, so... Oh, can ships not be flanked? Or is that their special ability thing? It might be the special ability thing. Alright, they still have an absolute assload of magic users. So I do want to try and get into melee combat with the magic users. ASAP, if at all possible. This is bonk. Nice. How's the naval combat? Well, you just kind of bonk the enemy. <laughs> that's that's the naval combat. You just kind of bonk them. Hmm. Well, sometimes a good bonking is all that's truly required in life. And Mr. Hero Person, you've done your turn. I'm tempted to kind of just go in there right now, honestly. I think I will. It'll tie up another one of their ranged units, which seems worthwhile. Bonk. Ah, I was bunked so hard I flew backwards. Damn. It's a really hard bunk when your entire ship just gets launched a hundred feet backwards like that. That's one hell of a bunk. And also, I can't help but notice, it opens up all of their goddamn ranged units, which they will then use to just focus down a unit. Most antagonistic. Well, they did live, which is, uh... More than I perhaps even expected. Right. Get in amongst them. We're making it more difficult for them to fire their ranged bunks. Ranged bunks are the worst kind of bunks. And they missed. Like the use of the little chance they are. Hmm. Alright. Um. Heal that one up. Bunk. You will come to fear my bunk, son. You have not yet even seen. I have, I have not yet begun to bunk. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, uh, bunking warfare. No, no, no. I, I do not need to see the units. Trust me. The unit ain't even there anymore. It's just bunking. Never before has so many bunks for so hard for so few or something. It's like he's so angry, he just keeps bunking. Ow. That fucking rain shit hurts a lot. Well, I do need to start replacing my tier one units anyways, I suppose. It's also kind of actually slightly difficult to tell which units are mine in all of this bunky mess. I'm pretty sure that's an enemy unit. Alright, proceed the bunk. Bunk. Ah, a glorious bunk victory, sir. Truly. Few have ever bunked quite like this. Right, now I'll need a few decades to uh, regain my casualties there. Can you build a. Uh... You can! Yeah, lovely. Give me one of those. Ooh, yes. Give me one of those giant fancy island golem things. They look pretty goddamn schnazzy. Siege magic. Demolisher. Fiery Arrows. Curse of Misfortune. Hmm. 
fire arrows. Alright, I've got a lot of magic now, so let's get a, another little gremlin too. Um, no, gremlin. Uh, I would have liked if there was a bit more to the the naval combat than that, but uh, oh well. Precious opportunity. The grimy prospector's voice is gravelly, his enthusiasm unbridled. So ye be the forge keeper around here, eh? He grinningly takes a pebble from the pouch. See this? Flow rock. I know of a secret deposit, but I cannot move it on my own. Spare me some workers to help me and I'll split the bounty. Split the bounty? You know, this is probably found on my literal land, right? You know, I probably own this shit, right? It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> to be fair, it kind of is. Mm. Hero out and demoralizing mask. Material boom. City stability. Stone spirit. A tier 3 unit. I'll take that. Whatever the hell it is, it sounds pretty good. Ah. Hello, sir. I can't help but see that you were flowing on the water there in violation of the Geneva Convention. You must seize immediately. Thank you. Alright. Let's get the... Kremlin to join the Gremlin army. In fact, I think I am going to make a literal gremlin army. Literal army of little demons and devils and all manners of near do wells. The army's done too. I wish I had a general to lead them, but mine is still in prison in Denwult for, for reasons I struggle still to entirely understand. Ah, so that's the stone spirit. Fighting unit elemental. Oh, that's pretty cute. Hmm. A stone spirit or an iron golem? Ah, that's the one I wanted. The artisan fortification nonsense thingy. Uh, oh, that didn't actually end the turn, did it? Oh, I'll queue up another Magma Spirit. And then we can finally resume the offensive. They kind of sound like the minions from Overlord, don't they? I don't know if that's a good thing, necessarily. But it certainly lends character to their retardation. Now, for Stone Spirits, you're remarkably nippy. Alright, are you building anything? You're building stone walls, yes. And you'll be done in turn. The turns are so fast I sometimes forget if the turn has passed or not, which is a good thing, mind you, it's fine. Alright. Bulwark. Okay, what manners of finery? Uh, town Hall, that sounds useful, definitely do that. Shrine, we do need more mana now, that is true, so let's... Let's start going for just lots of mana generating buildings over there. Whilst this one continues to build its walls for another three turns. Hmm, fiery arrows. Let's... Generate that spell, and let's see how that works. Overlord was fun. Overlord was a great little video game. I like both of them. Apparently a lot of people like the uh, the second one a lot better, but I quite like both of them. Uh, so, that affects all units. Damn. Uh, upkeep 10. Um, no, it's a bit too expensive. I thought it was maybe one unit, but no, it's every unit. Which is a bit much right now. 
And, well, since I don't have another hero, you might as well go join that army, I guess. Until I can somehow prison break that stupid little bitch. Maybe I shouldn't have moved him in there. I moved him in there thinking like, oh, well, they're vassals. Surely, they'll give him back eventually. Well, that, uh, that turns out to have been a very, very foolish assumption, actually. Very stupid one. Right, you're almost done with that. Do build the artisan fortifications. Probably the wizard tower, too. Oh, little elf boy, you best be clenching those butt cheeks. Decaying defenses. I've long been impressed by your feats of construction and humbly ask for your help. My building plans have some delays and no strongholds. Defenses are falling behind. With rising tensions in the realm, I fear my city may not withstand a siege with such a thing to happen. I mean, thank you for telling me, I guess. Hmm. I don't really want to. Like, I view you as a captured target. I don't really think I want to help you build bigger walls. That seems foolish. You better build some defenses, bitch. Otherwise, you're about to be very, very, very sad. You're about to become a tragic protagonist. Mana, knowledge. I feel like I have an ass load of knowledge, but more research can never hurt, right? Gold. Do I need gold right now? I feel like I don't actually need gold right now. I mean, you can never have too much gold, can you? I feel like I just need food. Have you got any more dudes recently? Yes, you have. Lovely. And the people are happy, too. Wow. A little bit of both worlds, then. Some forestries. Uh, construct Bolt Reaper. Definitely. Siege weapon. We want siege weapons. Silver Tongue Fruit. Acquired. Again, I don't even know what that fucking thing does, but I have it. Uh, specialist of Province Improvement Grant plus five gold. Sure. Why not? I've got plenty to annex the city as well, So because that only costs 200. Hello, little elfie. I don't know if that's going to be enough defenses, little elfie. In fact, I highly doubt it will be. Right, we'll give it a turn so I can research those uh, bolt throwers before we siege them down. Because I'd want to try the bolt throwers, because they looked really goddamn cool. Okay, a bit more stuff. A bit more stuff. Good, good, good. Start the siege. Right, so we're obviously going to do those, because they look awesome. And do we... Okay, so they've got Ballista Towers, so I could get those and Onagas. That'd be pretty cute, wouldn't it? I do love the elf is like, I've built palisades, and I've mounted ballistas on them. I feel like building larger walls would have been better, but... Anyway, well... Make sure they're in range. There we are. And now we siege. That does look pretty cool. Alright. Tome 3 of Pandemonium or Devastation. Tier 4 Shock Unit uses the Living Siege Weapon. Oh. Why, yes. I I do like, I do quite enjoy that idea. Thank you. Those who live and breathe war. Sorry, honey, I was doing the thing. Unlocked Seed of Chaos Affinity. I don't know what that means. I must admit, I probably don't understand half of the mechanics I'm using in this game right now. Ooh, that would have been nice a second ago. Hmm, 
none of that looks too useful. Ah, magic upkeep reduced by 20%. That is nice, though. You're building. You're building. You're both busy building. Lovely. Continue besieging the filthy elves until they learn a lesson about what it feels like to be shot at. Piece of shit. Right, so we've almost got this one to the supreme vassalage thing, which hopefully means they'll finally ally with me. That'd be nice. Kindred spirits. Uh, oh, uh, I have long shared history with the dominating brutes of Stranglong. I could rejoice if you were to look favorably on them. Hmm. No. Don't wanna. They're orcs. I don't like them. I do not enjoy their presence inside of my beautiful, harmonious nation. One more turn. Uh, closest to magic. Ah, yes, that was just that one. Right, I've got 41 now, so I can probably actually do the thing. Oh, did it get, like, D? No, no, I don't think so. No, I very much... Goodbye. Have, goodbye. Yeah, I don't think so, no. Like, should we stop the war now? No. I think the war is going to keep going for quite some time, my friend. For quite some time. Well, actually, it might not last for very long. I'm just not thinking that you're going to be enjoying the end of the war all that much. Seeing as you'll be, you know, having a literal tree trunk shoved up your asshole with literal skavens hammering mallets in it to force it deeper up your sphincter, of course. Fun fact, that was an actual execution method used in the Middle Ages. You would tie the offending person, the particularly offending person. This wasn't a punishment for, you know, normal street ratty behavior or anything. But you would tie them to a log. And so you'd bind their arms and their legs, obviously, so they couldn't struggle. Then you would take a sharpened piece of wood, put it against their anus, and people would then use mallets to beat the sharpened piece of wood into their anus until eventually the sharpened piece emerged from their mouths. It was a pretty strenuous affair because, you know, forcing that much wood through the human body is difficult. There's a lot of shit in the way, you know? But it was a very um, effective punishment in that very few people ever wanted to experience it. Very, very few people ever wanted to experience it. For reasons that I am sure you can all heartily imagine. Speaking of heartily, uh, I thought I built onagers. Did I not build onagers? I can't see any onagers. I can't see... Oh, huh. Well, that's a lesson for the future, then. Uh, don't build t both siege thingies, because you can only apparently have one of the two siege thingies. And so if you build both, well, you're just kind of screwing yourself, as it turns out. Alright, well, let's decrew some of the ballista towers first and foremost, because I don't like them. Can you decap them, I wonder? Well, you can shoot fire magic at them. I mean, seeing as they are wooden construct, I would imagine that to be relatively effective. Ah, yes, you are right. The Wolfsmund, uh, the Wolfsmund manga did show that. Wolfsmund's a very good manga, by the way. And it's finished, too, so you can read it and actually, like, be finished with it. Great manga. Now, do bear in mind, Wolfsmund uh, can lead to severe depression. Severe depression. But, you know, it's kind of worth the risk, so you should consider it, at least. Now, besides, are you so special, huh? Do, do you deserve to be free from crippling depression, angst, and social disorders? I don't know if you do, so you should probably consider reading it anyways. Ah, uh, Wolfsman was pretty good. I might need to go reread that soon. It was pretty damn good. 
sadistic, evil, and, you know, disgusting in many, many ways, but very good. And I'm trying to keep my units as spread out as possible because I'm presuming these ballistas have the same area of effect damage as mine does, and I kind of don't want to get area of affected, if at all possible. Uh, no, the Onagers should be on the map, because last time I built Onagers, they were on the map. So I'm pretty sure the uh, Ballistas just take their spot or some such thing. Ow! Jesus! Okay! Alright, I'll say yes. I One spell wipes out fucking two... Okay, mm-hmm. That is always the problems with games with spells, isn't it? Like, you get spells like that, it's like, ha 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 ha, all of your shit just died. Why, like, that's not very fun to deal with. Like, I... Uh, games with magic need a counter spell system. They need a counter spell system. Because just having your entire unit like that just with no recourse whatsoever is just the most anti-fun thing imaginable. Like, you need to have the ability to try and counter enemy spellcasters or prioritize spellcasting defense and stuff. I don't know why no game does that. Oh, I shouldn't have moved them over there, and I forgot about my ability to stop moving them over there. Right, well, at least I destroyed that, so that's something. Wait, can you not- can you not fire now? I thought you said you could fire every turn. Ah, well apparently the game lied to me about that too. It's just- yeah, they've got two heroes and uh, they've wiped out two of my units already and they're working on number three and number four. Again, like, magic is fine, because magic is cool, and magic should be super powerful. But you always need some way to defend yourself. You're like, you, there needs to be a counterplay. And in, in games like this, where the magic is select spell, click on enemy unit, there really isn't. There really, really isn't. And it's, uh, it's a wee bit painful. All right, well, I'll try to evacuate them by just fleeing. And we can get in there and at least interfere a little bit with the business of spellcasting. Uh, you two, just flee. Can you fire now? You can, but I'll hit my own units. Okay, well, fire like this then. Okay. Oh, okay. They can shoot down walls as well. That's a valuable thing to know. That was somewhat disappointing. Ah, Bastion, tier 3. Okay, fair enough. I was like, that was not the damage I'd perhaps expected out of a, you know, enormous floating avalanche, but fair enough. Okay, that was a pretty sweet move. I, I can't really complain about that. That was a pretty cute move. Well, I don't know what the benefit of that was, but... Alright, now we just need to beat their heroes to death, which I imagine is going to take a while, but I'm sure we'll get there with time and patience. I am really at the point now that I wish I could just skip the animations, though. Like, that's all of these games. Every turn-based game, there's a small period where I'm like, Animations, wow! And after that, I'm just like, please. Please stop. I I just wanna... I just want stuff to move faster. Now, let's just scatter out a little bit so that at least he doesn't have anywhere to run easily. Let's try and kill them before they kill another few of mine units. On the bright side, they are now completely surrendered. 
surrounded, 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 and as such should be easy victims for brutalities and violence. And yes, indeed, they are. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Lovely. Ugh, ouchies. But, start his life. Absorb. Absorb. Absorbing. Absorbing it will take five turns, sir. Sire, it takes a while to eat something this elven and gay. Fair enough. We'll take this opportunity to begin upgrading these armies, too. As they are in high need of a little bit of uh, refreshing. So, I'm presuming... How do you re-recruit your hero? He's looking all ghosty-like, so I'm guessing there's some way to summon him or some such. Hero in the void for three turns. Okay. So, I really would like to get this guy free at some point, but I have no idea how. They're just about as vassalized to me as they possibly can. Okay, we can integrate them. Right, integrate city. This dollar. Onward, you dictate Dinavolton's development. Its ratty lords merely produce whatever you request and settle on the previ provinces you prefer. You may assign one of your heroes as its governor to change the effectiveness of your resource production. Lastly, the city depends on you to defend bountiful Div Dinavolton when pillages appear. All right. Hopefully, oh, they deleted all of their armies in just in a display of petty petulance. They were like, "No." Uh, okay, is he? Um, well, I I have this guy. Did did I did I get my other? Did did my other hero just die now? I think he motherfucking did. Okay. Wait, is that him? No, stop doing the zoomy thing, video game. I swear to God, Jesus. Is that him? No, that's not him. <laughs> did... Did he... He dead. He... F he, he fucking up and died. Oh, okay. Rightio then, I see. All right. He, uh... He, he just... Very well. Very well. At least I have a second hero now, I guess. I... Uh, the uh, kindly mimic says, no VTubers I like are streaming. Guess you'll do. Oh, very kind of you, sir. Maybe I'll become a VTuber one day. Then I too can be a streamer. Maybe. Uh, recruit button at the bottom of the list. The list. Okay. Uh... Ah, there he is. Okay, so that's a weird place to put him, but thank you very much, chat. You managed to save uh, Bean's lives. Li life. Yeah, he just has one. He was about to die there, forgotten and unloved. But you have saved him from ignominious defeat. Well, that gives me actually several armies that I should get. Uh, so this army, two pole arms, Paramancer, and a range guy. This can be Bean's army, so you guys just... I wish it would stop with the fucking zone bug. Right, you guys can just go over there. And this will be the main army, which I'm going to rebuild basically from scratch. And you, what could you have then? Um, Ram warship. Oh, so there are navies. Nice, 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 nice. I don't mind that. Hmm. Well, hmm. I do like the Houndmaster. I do quite like the Houndmaster. Two iron golems. Two Houndmasters and a Pyromancer. That sounds pretty damn good. Artris and Re. A Grand Wharf. 
Alright, well, suddenly I have my three cities. Well, I'm about to have four. I need to do that research thingy, don't I? Which gives me another city. Uh, that was down here, wasn't it? Yes, 200 Imperium. Okay, so a few turns away, but... That's not the worst thing. Uh, Don Pete XX says, Afternoon, Arch and Chat. About the counterplay to spells, would it be implemented via tiered research? Say level 1, you can counter low tier spells. Um, honestly, I would just give you a finite resource. I would say that every turn, you have... Uh, where actually did he, like, respawn? I thought he respawned up here. Why did he go, the little bastard? Oh, there he is. Right. I would give you a finite resource. I'd say that depending upon the skill of the sorcerer in question, you get X amount of dispels, essentially. Dispel points. And then you can spend them to dispel spells that cost a certain amount of things. Because that way you actually introduce an element of strategy to it as well, where you need to hoard your resources. Do you really need to dispel that one? Or can you afford to let that spell go through? What about that spell? Is there a spell that you absolutely must prevent going through at any cost, etc.? You have encountered a hostile free Another one! Jesus! Hmm. Revel without a cause. Guests wearing suffocating dresses and awkward robes sit at a long table, solemnly chewing bland meals. Troubadours play dull tunes are served for refined banquets. Per tradition, a dancing bear has fallen asleep. A conjurer fruitlessly tries to retrieve his doves from the great hall's rafters. Someone sneezes and promptly apologizes. It sounds boring, and I guess I'm about to do something about it. Set the curtains ablaze. Yes, we'll set fire to the house. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, I succeeded. Oh. oh. Age of Wonders 4 has shut down due to an unexpected graphics driver error. All right, well, we had our first crash then. All right, so one crash in about, what, uh, three, three and a half hours? Not terrible, not amazing either, but it's not awful. Like, that's... Within relatively acceptable parameters, I would say. Hmm. Now the question is... Will it let me reload without any issues, or, uh... Will that be a corrupted save game or something like that? Because that would be... less ideal. Significantly less ideal. Nope, looks fine. Alright. Onwards the victory yet again. A Oathbreaker. To turn it into a war breed. Oh, cool. I can make him sad. I enjoy making people sad. Uh, so what did I get? Me a war breed. Okay, but where where did I get the war breed? Did I get the war breed here? I did! Cool. So, I just gained a giant stompy tier 4 thingity-bob, uh, because a person who was a little bit too sanctimonious for his own good, uh, got a little bit too sanctimonious for his own good. Nice.
Speaking of, I should really... Well, I do have a road going there, so it's not the most important thing in the universe, I guess, to set up a road there. Oh, uh, that was all he had, and when that died, he died. Well, that was certainly quick, but uh, not unexpected. Alright, how many... I had three gremlins and two little fire spirits. Okay, let's get a final little fire spirit. And plunk him in there. And now that I have some magic... Let's also start searing blades and fiery arrows as well, because I can actually pay for it now. And the extra fire damage will probably be pretty neato cheeto. Right. Everything has some build orders going. A room of recall to respawn ruler, respawn full HP. Okay, well that's nice, but I don't need it. Oh, okay, so you can upgrade the provinces, too. Uh, click to replace the farm with a builder's quarter. Well, I don't want to do that. If anything, I would want to replace... Something that I've already done that with, then. Hmm. Golem mine. Okay, so the mines would definitely benefit from that then. Yes. Did that do it? Uh, yes, it did. Okay. Well, let's make both. Oh, you can only have one. Okay, only one upgrade. All right, fine. Ritual Pyre, 10 mana, per decent forester, counts as a forester. Ooh, that's nice. Go one over there. Something just whined at me in the distance. I don't even know what it was. All I know is that it had a long and drawn out sorrowful whine. Alright, lots of people. I can build stuff over here now. Uh, there are bad people nearby, apparently. Don't want to bother with fortifications. It's just a neutral AI. It can't possibly have that much shit, right? The people are displeased with me. Hmm. Well, you are under new management, so I suppose I'll give you a bathhouse to make you a little bit more happy. And a blacksmith. All right. Okay, so, main army. You can keep going over there. You can join up with the... The Steel Legion. Give me a war breed. And there's a giant stone golem thing over there already. So if I could get a couple of ranged units produced locally, that would be... Excellent. Oh, cool, that gives me access to their shit too. Nice. Quite nice. Right. Two pyromancers it is then. Hey, you! My territory! Go away! Shoo! Uh, Matthew Rumbler says, Hey Arch, are you excited all about 10th edition of 40k or just think it's gonna be stupid GW crap? Well... <laughs> I'm excited in theory about some of the things they are saying. But, like, the, the thing is, a lot of the stuff they're um, teasing right now they're basically using the old line. Oh, we're we're going to make uh, the game easier to play without removing the complexity. And I think every time I've ever heard a company say that, they've made the game easier to play and a million times less complex because that seems to be what that phrase means. And 40K has already been well decomplexified a lot. So I don't know, I'm, I'm very skeptical. It's like, for example, the removal of a facing armor, so that now everything just has toughness values. Like, I get why they did it, because there were always a lot of arguments about, you know, whether or not something or other was, was facing towards this and that, or if it was a rear shot or a flank shot or whatever, etc. I get it, 
but it's still one of those pieces of complexity that was nice and that is now no longer there. So, mm. Plus, with the release of the League of Vota, and I don't really trust Games Workshop to be able to uh, do the very difficult balancing act of simplifying without sacrificing complexity. I'm not at all convinced the GW can do that. Step. Fire. 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 And more fire. Until the world is simply just nothing but fire. Only then. Only then may you rest. Well, at this point, you might as well just, you know, kill him. He's feeling so very fiery. Alright, and we'll wait here for the actual army to arrive. Artisanal armament. 30% critical hit chance. That sounds pretty good. Let's research that. And now that I do have quite a bit of mana income, I think we'll activate it as well. Right, that is starting to actually kind of violate my mana, so I might want to build some more of that in the future. But I'm building the monolith over there, so I'm not too worried just yet. Right. Uh, yeah, that's what you get for being mercenaries. Screw you. Plus, you're sitting on something valuable, I presume. The little sheep just like, thank you. The mercenaries were raping us. <laughs> Which, to be fair, they probably were. That was very little to do. Cooped up, guarding a bunch of sheep for God only knows what filthy, pathetic, perverted reason. It's also the fact that GW's strategy these days they seem to very much so have taken... Uh, it's uh, the same with Creative Assembly. It feels like almost all companies are doing this these days. Where they've looked at how Relic... Not Relic. A Riot has balanced their games for ages. By releasing blatantly overpowered units. Selling them like a mad. And then fixing them. So, hmm. The Chaos Dwarves, really ridiculously overpowered powerful. Leagues of Votan, really ridiculously overpowered powerful. Hmm. Almost as if there's some kind of a weird uh, uh, pattern here, almost. Almost as if there is some sort of a pattern, yes. I'm just going to build a garrison over here because I keep getting worried that something's going to show up behind me and play with my tush and I, I just don't like it. Right, I do need to remember to upgrade that damn cap thing. Expand government. Is that all I can get? So you can only, like, ever have four cities until you, uh... Teleporter provinces? Well, that sounds useful. I think that sounds really useful. Let's build that. Turn, 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 turn. All right, you little mongrels can scout on a little bit ahead. See if there's anything interesting for you to be murdered by. Uh, are you like a like a main do bad dude? Oh, you're all the way over there. Hmm. I take it this is one of the, the main enemies then, because there's only like one left, I think. Yes, because the other guy's dead. Well, it's starting him then. Me and you will be enemies very swiftly. Uh, where is he? Where is he? 
I thought I knew where he was, but I don't think I do know where he is. Hey, show me your house! Dude! Where do you live? I'm not gonna tell you that. Um, it's not there, is it? No, that's the that's the that's the AI thing, dude. Seriously. I mean, he must have seen me somewhere, so he must be he must be somewhere, I guess. A very wise observation, Arch. The enemy must be somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. That's a big guy. I do have a big guy of my own, though. I could probably beat them. Uh, diplomacy menu, maybe? Maybe if I zoom out. No? Hmm. Throne city not discovered. Hmm, right, let's make a bunch of little scouty dudes and just start sending them across the map then to figure out where he is. Uh, I'm ruined, I've gotten myself and my people in debt. My treasury lies empty and my form benefits are out of my blood. If I'm a hostage, make threats of mutilation and death. Uh, a vortex? Who are you? With Vortex. 100% suede. Sure, I don't know who you are, but... Crystal Thicket. I have no idea who you are, but if you want my money, I, I guess. Here, take it. I have a lot of it. It's a very classic response to an immigrant, frankly, in the modern Western world. Ah, no, there is a garrison. I was about to say, like, is there nothing here? <laughs> All right, four more turns, and I'll have that army up and going. He's still building his army. You're just gonna go scouting. More big, scary, stompy shit. What's that? Ah. Well, that makes sense. It's a spotty tower. It did look like a spotty tower. And so it being a spotty tower was frankly only natural. Alright, another four, three turns until that's done. Garrison's building up. You too, scout. Ah. Well, he had more than a garrison there. Again, I really do wish that you could actually, you know, leave from these encounters, but no. Okay, well, you're there now. There's no retreating in this video game, sir. So I don't even understand the concept of retreating, frankly. Uh, Herbert Ken Umera says, Arch, help. I just listened to a weeb song and understood the lyrics. It is over. There's no coming back for me. Ah. Also, I hope you have a good week. See, this is entirely natural. Embrace the weeb inside of you that embraces the weeb that uh, is outside of you, maybe. I don't know. There's weebs in all of us, okay? Just be happy. Be happy that your weeb is in a position where you can see it and guard it against foreign interference, all right? Uh, three turns. I guess I'll wait for him to be done with that nonsense. Ooh, hi. So, uh, who did I influence? Because I was 200 sway. Like, who? Uh, Vortex? Hi. Uh, would you like a stone? Boost allegiance. Friends? Maybe? I don't know where you are, but if we can be friends, that would be uh, cool. I guess. Maybe. Possibly. I hope that wasn't you, friend. Ember Source Furnace. Oh. How many heroes do I have? Because I've got heroes per thing, shouldn't I? Yes, I've got three, so I can have another one. Ooh, well, you look pretty cool. Uh, 
I like you. You look like you can fight. I think you shall be my new friend, too. Okay, so this will be the garrison. All right. This guy looks like he's a bit of a hard ass. Um, do anything stuff for you? I don't. Orb of seeing. Thank you for your attention. I mean, why not? Hmm. Crusader's Claymore. Uh, gain strength damage per hex traveled up to three hexes, whereas this is gain It's exactly the same. Cancel defense mode, removes retaliation attack. It is literally the same godding weapon. Except this one is slightly more... whatever the fuck that is supposed to be damage. Hmm. I wish there was a way to buy, like, um, items. That would be kind of nice. Raising cities, gain gold. I'm not really planning to raise any cities. Mines grant 10 draft. City structure costs less from gold to build. Instantly gain 2,000 gold. Well, I mean, that's not bad. Hmm. Siege project slots. Yeah, I got that one. No, I didn't get that one. It's a bit difficult to read if you have something or if you don't have the thing. Alright, well, I still have plenty of money. So, an army for this guy. Since he's a melee chad. Or diff... Ah, yes. Two war breeds. Mm, that'll be a front line and a half. Then, a pyromancer and a couple of hound masters for some flanking nonsense. Yes, yes. Right. My income is starting to get a pinch more precarious. So I should probably focus on getting some uh, fiery arrows. Those are the ones active. Yes. Didn't I get Searing Blade? There. I just hadn't activated it yet. Definitely activate that. Give them all kinds of fiery magical swords. We like it. We like it. And... You're done recruiting, right? You'll be done recruiting soonish. Best they will add item buying and DLC or like have an in game store for real money with microtransactions? Well, I don't think they'd go that far, I hope. Uh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna poison myself a little bit with some beer here, but, uh,. It, it'll get me some friends, okay? So, you know, it's just... Sometimes, to get friends, you need to drink so much that you become actually sick and lose health. Don't, by the way. It's a terrible idea. But apparently in this video game, it is encouraged. Right, one more turn. Come on, come on. Oh. I don't know where the giant spiders came from, but... Oh, it's the scout spiders. Duh. Right, now you can finally come up over here and help me deal with that goddamn little piece of shit. And you might as well get back to dealing with the independence. Uh, in fact, I might as well be leveling up the garrison whilst I'm at it. Why not? Uh, none of these are all that useful. Siege magic. Right. Money. Market. Uh, mint. You're busy building. Archers go. Meeting hostile cross wall. Um, okay, all the way over there. Don't too worry about that. Where even am I? Oh, this is the underground. Okay. Ah, nice. Okay, I was getting really confused there. Like, this map looks nothing like I remember it to look. Alright, and diplomacy again. What was going on with that city? The free city of Vortex. Pact of Vassalage in four turns. Nice. Huh. They're pretty easy to vassalize, as it turns out. Really? Oh. 
I figured that'd be less costly, but yeah, such is life. Can I expand these cities now? I can. Um, get that. There's the ritual pious. We'll build foresters around it. Can you grab anything? No. Can you grab anything? Yes. Yes, you can. Speaking of grabbing things, I could build the teleporter things, which sounds super goddamn duper useful. So let's build a teleporter thing right there. And let's build a teleporter thing right here. Seed of Chaos. Hmm. That sounds fun. Right there. Hmm. I'm a bit worried about uh, getting rid of all my farms, but I've still got 84 plus food, so it shouldn't be too dangerous just yet. I hope. Herbert Ken Umera also says, also, while I'm here, Arch, you know rodents, I want to build mechs IRL. No joke, it's the only cool idea I got for life. How do I into build mecha? Um, well, mechanical engineering would be a good start. And then advanced robotics? Yeah, I would definitely suggest advanced robotics. That will be... I have a call here against low morale... Ah, okay. I guess he did something mean to them. But yes, advanced robotics would be uh, kind of necessary there. Because you're going to need to know... Well, you're going to need to know everything. Like how the actuators works, how the software works. Because the biggest problem with a mecha... Oh, Jesus. Apparently these are really powerful. Oh, tier 4. Yeah, I see it. The biggest problem with a mecha isn't necessarily even building the mecha. It's figuring out how the hell a human being is going to control the mecha. Since even just walking for a regular human being, even just walking is actually remarkably a complex occurrence. Transmuter, melt armor. Magical damage, nice. And so making a machine walk via human control is even harder. That's why it's taken us so incredibly long to make even a simple robot that walks. Much less an enormous robot uh, exoskeletal thing. Although, now that we do have walking robots, we are not necessarily all that far away from making a proper mecha that can also walk properly. Because the biggest problem is how to, you know, balance. That is a big concern. How to make it not fall over and kill everyone underneath it. And presumably the pilot as well in the process. Then once you've figured out how to make it walk, then you got to figure out how to make it useful. Like, what kind of tasks it's supposed to fulfill. Uh, Apprehensive Arcadia. Having a story about the torments of shadows you went through and the power you wield. Ah, because I got banished for a moment. And we hate to imagine what you forsook to earn it. Hopefully you will curb any potential power-hungry tendencies as you make your way through these lands. Hmm, okay. Right, we're gonna give them that, and we're gonna do the unlock that gives me another one. Because I'm pretty sure there was an unlock to get another one, wasn't there? Or was it a building? It might have been a building. No, there's the one. Yep. That one. Because I do also want to keep giving one to the other guys. Uh, which I don't even know where the hell are now. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Yes. Oh, they still have one. Okay, so. Did they get one? No, they didn't get one. Piece of shit. There. Boost allegiance. They shall be my friends forever and ever. And I will not take no for an answer. That's fine. You just need to heal there for a bit. <laughs> yep, that looks... That looks like a long shot, all right. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a long shot, too. You know, these scouting ventures of mine seem to always end pretty much the same way, with the horrific death of the scouting party. Almost as if the video game is trying to tell me something. Hmm. 
I can't imagine what that would be, however, but uh, clearly it is something. It really does need some sort of a retreat button, though, seriously. Like, come on, let me leave. If there is a single dude on a spider, surely he should have the opportunity to elect to just be like, nah, I'm just going to take my spider and fucking leave. Thank you very much. Mm, more Chaos of Inti. Once built, will reveal its location to all other empires. I don't know if I want that. That sounds like people might get aggressive with me if I do it. Incidentally, I'm already building one here before I read that part. NPC Army of Marauder Guard. Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, well, get the garrison back there, I suppose. And we'll get you back down here instead. Uh, Nefarious Crush Rock. Enjoy your independence, for now. Hello! You have elected to come out to fight me, have you? Very brave. Very foolish, but very brave. We shall rumble in the jungle yet again. Oh, Kenoki. Well, I'm gonna take some casualties here, because that seems to be pretty much unavoidable when you're fighting this number of units. Um, the Whirlboids. Those are scouts, which means they die very, very easily. Big rocky guy. Whoa, doggies. Oh, whoa, doggies. Consolidate, consolidate, you little shits. What are these then? Bandits? No. Dark Warrior. Cruel Deathbringer. Minor transformation. So there's some sort of. Yeah, some sort of undead. Okay. Some sort of undead. Be careful to not put the hero in the shrubbery this time, as last time I put the hero in the shrubbery, the hero set the shrubbery on fire and mildly inconvenienced my ranged units. And we'll keep the, keep the war doggies on the flank, seeing as they are basically expendable chaff. I do like the way the game has done uh, the expendable chaff thing, though, because it is actually expendable chaff because it is just a freer unit that the game spawns, meaning that it is an actually expendable unit, rather than the Total War definition of an expendable unit, which is a unit that is not expendable at all, because if it dies, well, that just sucks for you. Boom. Alright, well... Eel or shits will shatter upon my determination. I do feel like this is not very a Skaven army anymore. Like I'm just, I'm commanding legions of steel golems and entire walking mountains. Along with whatever the god's good earth this is. But hey, you know. Hmm. Ooh, oh, An AoE ability? Now that sounds downright fascinating. Um, unselect. All right. Ah, it requires the whole movement. Ah, fine. I suppose that would be more balanced than just letting me pump it down wherever I want to. Fair enough, fair enough. Right. Let's make sure they're ready to do it next turn then. Come at me, bitches. Hmm. Arrows against the walking mountain. I feel like that was not going to be very effective. Alright, they do have regeneration, so I've got to actually put these units down when I fight them. Well, 
maybe enough arrows against a walking avalanche will be effective. Only if they can actually hit it, mind you. Alright. Hello, I have an AoE spell. Boom. And boom. And boom again. Yep, I'd say that was reasonably effective. Let's chain lightning them just for good measure. Right, well that was... A little bit satisfying, actually. <laughs> Mildly cruel and inhumane, too, but also satisfying. You're all on fire and about to die. My only regret is that I cannot allow you to simply burn to death, for it would allow you to hit me back, and I don't want that. Hmm. Oh, I could have dropped another AoE. Ah, oh, tragic. I would have liked to drop another AoE. Ah, a true tragedy. Alright, so these guys are pretty good, as is demonstrated by the fact that they eat an entire unit in one go. Oh, and they advance into their slot. Very nice. So, I'm guessing since you're literally iron golems, you don't get a set on fire, right? I don't know if that's an accurate assumption to make, but we're gonna... Oh, I didn't see that unit. Hmm. Hmm. I seem to have somewhat inadvertently opened my back line to the enemy's non-too-gentle administrations. Um... Quake. So, target X and deal damage to this unit. Immobilized. You know... I feel like you just leave, because you have very little hit points now. Why not? Why not give them a little bit more fire? Quad-legged mechs are easier to balance? Um, yeah, they would be. Like, it would be way easier if you would just give it multiple legs, but the problem then is you would also need multiple actuators. You would need way more energy to pilot to drive it. You would also still need a fair bit of balancing software, because even with four legs, it's still going to need to be able to tell when the legs are on the ground. And what kind of position they're in, etc. It would be easier, though. Thing is, though, if you're gonna make a mecha, you gotta make it a... a man mecha. You gotta make it a walker mecha, otherwise... Otherwise, you might as well just make a little robot thing, you know? You don't need a mecha in that case, you just make it a robot that walks. Like, voila. If you're gonna make a mecha, you gotta make a Gundam. If you're not making a Gundam, you're not doing it right. Thank you, by the way, enemy, for wasting your time firing at my war puppies, who are literally, actually worthless. I appreciate it tremendously. I'll just auto-resolve the rest. Smack, smack, smack. All right, well, the new army performed pretty goddamn well. No real complaints there. We're gonna give them a turn or two to, uh... Seed of Shadow. Oh, that's where you are. A Seed of Shadow. I don't know what these do. I have no idea. They're a victory condition thing. Required for magic victory. To achieve magic victory, Nippon needs to build a seed, root, and heart. Affinity promise improvement. Let them choose tier 3, 4, and 5 tomes. If all the improvements of the same affinity are built, the magic spell victory is unlocked. Channeling spell takes 15 turns till victory is received, during which hostile armies are spawned next to the improvements in an attempt to destroy them. Losing any of the three improvements, cancel the spell. Okay. Well, now that I know you're over there, and I know that you've only got one city, I'm about to come for that pussy. Yep, that undead pussy. The Rigma Grip. Oh god, the Rigma Grip. We don't like the Rigma Grip. We don't want to talk about the Rigma Grip. That's nothing, nothing good ever came from talking about the Rigma Grip. Nevertheless, I am just going to turn around now and come up there and have at that undead ass. 
because I see no particular reason not to, frankly. Ah, well last time I set the curtains on fire and crashed my video game, so I guess I'll just give them some wine this time. Yay! Oh, it crashed again. Right, so that event will crash the game every time, as it turns out. Lovely. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Alright, boot it back up again. Whether you set the curtains on fire or give your random ass people wine, that event is the death of games. Is it boots fast? And saved my game. I saved my my battle victory there. Thank heavens. Uh oh. Well, we're gonna have to try the third one. Right, okay, so, yes, you're just gonna have to take the penalty on that one every time, because it's gonna screw your game over every time. Lovely. Not, uh, not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. Not ideal at all. I wonder, can you... No, you can't build a port, it doesn't look like. Now, you have to have a on the on the actual coast to be able to build uh, port cities and port battlements and docks and stuff. Alright. Fair enough. Alright. Are we healed up? Uh, well, we're somewhat healed up. So, Mr. Undead Person, um, you still have two whole armies. Jesus, really. Hmm. Okay, you're still in range of each other. I'm going to probably heal up fully before I do anything over there, then. And it'll give me an opportunity to build this army as well. Oh, you're going to come out to fight me? Oh, well. I don't necessarily mind. I've got to try and protect my big fat rock stupid dude a little bit, because it might, due to its lowered health pool, become a very tempting target for my vile and inhumane enemies. Puppy go flank. My, is that a... Massive natural choke point, I see. Which can potentially be filled by my enormous quantities of area of effect magic. Yes. Yes, I believe that is exactly what I see. Let's see if the enemy sees it as well. Or if they will uh, acquiesce to my desire to have them all walk down this narrow defile and be blasted to tiny, tiny screaming smithereens and scattered across the landscape like so much pizza topping. You shall be ready on the flanks, little woofers. Make sure the pyromancers are in a position where they can do their stuff. Well, they look like they're going to uh, humor me, at least in part. I wouldn't humor me. I think humoring me in this particular instance is incredibly foolish. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we are. Now more units down there. More. Not as many as I was hoping for, but 
It's something. Not as good as the previous one, but it's still something. All right. Little puppers. Um, not a great opportunity for you to go over here and flank, frankly, but you'll keep that unit busy at least, and you'll probably be able to tear it apart as well. Okay, you are going to do your little stunning thing on these guys. And we might as well shoot those pieces of it and try and kill them with our waterborne puppies. Oh. Right. Ow! Okay. I didn't see that hole in my defensive line there either, mind you. Alright, that guy has a million hit points. Quite literally, it seems. Hmm. set them on fire a little bit. I really wanted to kill that unit, though. Could I kill it? No, I can block that so it's not going to bother me anymore. So, honestly, this bell is basically outdated now. Buff all tier 1 units. That's, uh... It's not really a concern anymore. Hmm. Although, keeping that unit safe might be nice. Let's give that 20 temporary hit points. Quick stab. I feel like that's not really going to do much. But still, it's something. Uh, I feel like he might have overcommitted just a little bit there. That'll push them around a bit. He's nice and low on health. And the Rock Golem can actually finish them off. Nice. I'm mostly worried about that other spellcaster doing gay shit to me, so... If I could snipe him out, that'd be rather nice. And it'd be nice to kill this guy too before he murders my hero. Now, I will also say, though, they've planned like... Three, no, not three. Four pieces of DLC already. Which... I do find somewhat annoying. Like, the game releases, and it's it's functional. It has enough mechanics for me to consider this a full release. But it also makes me wonder how many things that could have been in the game if they hadn't also been like, hmm, maybe we need to keep something a little bit back for the DLC, you know? I can't help but worry. Immobilize. Like, how much better would could could the game theoretically have been if it actually had all of the things in it that they were perhaps planning to put in it originally before turning it into DLC stuff? And hey, it might not even have been DLC stuff at all. They might literally just have not had the opportunity or the ability to do, do that stuff, and so it was put into DLC instead. That's also possible. Though it's also possible, again, that they uh, held it back for future releases as well. I tend to be very skeptical with the modern-day gaming market when it comes to such things. Hmm. Well, he got a million and eleven temporary hit points. Uh, to the point where I'm not even entirely sure if it's worth shooting at him. But I do have to start wetting him down at some point. Even if it is indeed going to take a while. Uh, well, if I can... Nah, he resisted almost all of that. Come on. If you can have a little bit better luck, which you can. Lovely. Well, yes, it was worth it to hit him repeatedly. That also frees up my mage, which is rather nice, especially as he's not necessarily looking that great in the health pool department. 
right, do we want to kill those or do we want to go after the wizard? We want to go after the wizard. Keep him tagged and pounded off into a corner where he can't really do much. How do you feel now, silly little undead? I do like it when they use expensive spells on my puppies. You found yourself in a rather unfortunate strategic predic predicament up there, little enemy wizard person. You seem to have no way to actually get off that hill without becoming mulch. A tragedy, to be sure. Stone spit it to you. No, one more turn cooldown. Hmm, I feel like I might be being a little bit aggressive with the walking avalanche over there. But it's just the unit of archers. I doubt they can kill them, so you should be safe ish. Kill. And kill. Turns out iron golems are pretty goddamn good at this whole tank and spank thing. Weird, I know. Why have a shield made out of iron when you can have a literal creature made out of it instead? Hmm. Yep, shoot that. Let's see, anything I need to keep alive? Anything I need to hurt? That. Alright, I'm feeling confident enough to let the computer take care of the rest now, probably. Okay, well that was a lot more incoming damage than I expected. They managed to tear down the iron golems with just the three remaining units. Yeah. Well, we'll have to rebuild them. Now that the enemy has taken out most of their actual garrison units, it shouldn't be a big deal to take their city, at least. In fact, I should be able to pretty much just walk in there, surely. Doggies. Bolt repeater. With nothing in there, that should pretty much be a walkover as soon as the actual walls are breached. At least, theoretically, that should be the case. How long until you're done? One more turn. Lovely. Did I not? There we go. Ah, oh, he has two cities now. How very fancy of him. How very fancy and how very infuriating. Damn, angry wolf puppies. All right. Are you, are you actually like wandering behind me doing gay shit? You are, aren't you? Please don't. Please cease. And we'll make a war breed over there too, as to be the defenses, and we gotta replace the iron golem. Although maybe I just get more war breeds. Mmm, they cost Imperium upkeep, but then again, I do have quite a lot of Imperium upkeep, so that's probably not actually a big deal. Melt armor. Uh, didn't I get there? You get the hour. Adaptive armor thing. Definitely get that, because that's defensive shit, which is going to be awesome. Alright, that brings me to the end of this tree. Uh, your third city is one problem. A bail Alright. All right, yeah, no, I'll sacrifice a population for that. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is actually pretty cool. 
a bit, a bit on the chunky side, a little bit fat perhaps, but still. All right, well, you're going to go join the main army then. Stop that dummy thing, piece of shit video game. Swear to God. Right, well, I don't need the Warbreed then because I have a Baylor now, apparently. Huh. Who'd have thunk it? Necron the Risen. Necron, the Morning Wood, has arisen. He's harder than ever, and nothing you can do can calm him down. I do like how the fatty insists on flying, too. He's like, mm, listen, my legs are really fucking tiny, okay? If I try to walk, they'll probably just snap. Alright, so I've got four out of four cities. I probably just want to vassalize them, then. John, they're all alone in any war, they are fighting and assisting combat. So the game claims. Yep, we'll vassalize them, which will take two turns. I'm sure as hell the last people I vassalized didn't fucking help me out much. 44 magic. Expensive, but also very, very, very good. Right, I better get to building some more magic buildings if I'm gonna keep doing that sort of nonsense. I think I've built all of the ones I can here, right? Let's get a bastion then. A monolith. And here I'm building the Seed of Chaos, then I'll start working on all of the mana upgrades. City of Outlaws. Pickpockets roam the streets and thug raid house at night. Shopkeepers have a report to paying games protection led to conflict between city districts. It won't be long before the city falls into rioting and anarchy. Ah, I see. It's a bit pissy with me. Yes, perhaps I should uh, keep a look at the actual angriness of cities on occasion. A tavern and a bathhouse might be called for here, my lord. Let's prioritize that. They do seem a little bit miffed, it's true. How are my other cities? Are they, uh... Well, they seem happier. That city is not very pleased with me. That city is exceedingly unpleased with me. Uh, tavern. Build. Tavern. And one more turn until that's annexed. Octopuses. Alright, you guys, get in the sea, get wet. And we're going to immediately start dealing with our undead friend up here, because I don't like him. And my objective is to put him in the dirt where he so obviously and clearly belongs. That is exactly what I intend to do. Speaking of... Transmuter. Steel skin. Transmute a target's race skin into steel. Okay. I mean, that does sound pretty nice. Hmm. But I don't really use many rats anymore. So it's not as nice as it kind of sounds. Off you go, my pretties. And since that can take care of itself... Oh, they even look cute now with their new armor. And there is my seed of chaos. It's chaotic, and it's a seed. And apparently, I can upgrade it or something to win the video game at some point. 
Not that I'm going to bother, because I'm just going to kill my enemies instead, which is a far more straightforward path to victory, in my opinion. Don't worry, Necron. I'm, uh... I'm not planning anything suspicious with your southern borders. Trust me. I would never lie to you. No, 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 no. Never. Not in a million years, my friend. Hmm. I should leave some scouts behind here. Or scouts, defenders back here. In case he tries something, I don't know, dishonorable, like a counter-naval invasion or something. I don't think he'd be quite so cruel, but you never know these days. Devastator Spheres. Yep, that sounds useful. Necron the Risen is enjoying his last few turns, days, days on this earth as I begin looking for the tiny icon of my army. There it is. Hmm. Well, he does have a little bit of a garrison up there. Prospects. Yay. The Eternal Bedchambers. Aha. Uh -huh. Why not? Is that? No, that's NPCs. Hello again! Uh, Arcane... You want to learn magic? Mark... Of the conflict trait. City stability for your server mana that controls global mana. Yes. Because stability really is my problem right now, more so than mana, frankly. Hello, Mr. Undead Man. Do not fear. We are not here to invade you. No. No. Never. Rat would never lie. Rat always tell truth. Rat has never lied in its entire existence. In the entire history of the speciesdom of ratdom. Rat has never told a lie. Now, yes, Rat has occasionally uh, had fanciful interpretations of what the definition of truth is. This is correct. And that is exactly what this is right now. But Rat has never lied. What thrower? Dogs. And why not some Devastation Spheres whilst we're at it? I know this seems like slight overkill for a tiny ass bloody settlement, but trust me, it's necessary. Uh, maybe, possibly. You have encountered a hostile free city. Oh, don't worry about that. Oh, that speaks up. Hey, 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 you, you, are you like my vassal yet? Uh, basically. Okay. So, are you, like, at war with the bad people now? Because I kind of want you to be. Are you? I don't know if they are. Speaking of, did I look anything else cool at the end of the tree? Uh, raising cities. Grievance against the limit. Trade and loss. Spells of destruction. Raising... Uh, first march. Eh, nothing particularly cute. Graham the Crypto Blade. Oh, the Crypto Blade. Hmm, finally, I too can enjoy the benefits of cryptocurrency. Does the Crypto Blade do anything better than this blade does? Ah, it's a stabby weapon, huh? Resurrect targets killed as zombies on the wielder's control. Aha, uh -huh. sure, why not? Oh, the Ring of Regeneration. That sounds useful in a combat hero, so have it. <laughs> See, I would have named that something like the Ring of Second Chances. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need to retry that one video game. I'm, I'm pretty sure the the result was uh, was determined before anything really happened, I'm afraid. Yeah. Alright. 
Let's see what destruction spheres are like. Oh, okay. That was some... Some big old uh, frame rate drops right there for some reason. What is that? Oh, that's the hero. Okay. I thought for a second it was a giant blob charging me from the walls, and I got a bit confused and scared. Right. Dog. Dog. Uh, just a million dogs. Dog. Dog. Just a million dogs. Just a million the doggy doggies. Just a million doggy doggies. Dog. Dog. Mm, dog. Dog pretty good. Plus, dog expendable. Dog does not mind if dog gets friendly fired. Right, where are those dis devastation spheres you promised me? I don't actually... I don't actually see any. I think you lied. What the... Aha. 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 Uh-huh. All right. Sure. Why not? Why wouldn't you make a giant crab golem out of uh, dead things and uh, play with it? I... Yeah, no, that... Yep, nope. Fine. I have no objections. Only acceptance. Only acceptance. The rest of you are too slow. I don't want to retreat, no. Alright, you better pull some special-ass spells out of your ass if you're going to want to live through this one. Dog. 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 This is a white woman's dream right here. But it's an undead nightmare, as it turns out. Dog. White woman paradise is not like other paradises, you see. It has a distinctly different canine aesthetic to it, shall we say. But, you know, some people like that shit. Fun fact, Denmark, a country of degenerate, disgusting non-Scandinavians, was one of the last nations on Earth to ban bestiality. You must ask the Danish as to why they elected to take so long, because, uh, well, the answer is obvious. They're Danish. But I still think they should be asked the question repeatedly. Dog. Right. I don't think I've ever conquered a city with just dogs before, but I have now. And it feels good. Tome of Chaos Changeling. Tome of Demon Gate. Ooh. Summon Demonic. Yes, I believe I shall. Those who master the art of summoning will always... Will always have friends. Michael says, please, no dog pill in fantasy games. <laughs> well, well, where else would you expect the dog pill to be found? Hmm? Uh, 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 we'll raise it. Not because I have any particular... No, actually, no, we should... No, no, we should make it into a vassal because then I can heal over here. Yeah. Because I do want to have the ability to heal over here, because that'd be pretty useful. Right, Mr. Undead. I hope you have something right special up your sleeves. Otherwise, you're about to be visited by a tremendous quantity of canines. And trust me, you don't want that. You really, really don't want that. Uh, sure. Whatever the hell that is. 
I'm like, I'm busy. It's like, my lord, the harvest festival. I'm committing genocide. Please. I'm occupied. Alright, uh, you, you get to stay back, because I think I can only bring three armies with me in battle anyway, so... Well, that's rather petty, don't you think? I mean, fine, but it is rather petty. So, I heard you were building a Seed of Darkness over here. I came to take a look. Well, I guess you could go just burn some random buildings whilst we're over here. Might as well. No particular reason not to. Ooh, demon summoning. Yes, do that. That sounds fun. So, do you, like, have an army or something? You do. Ooh, quite a lot of an army, too. Boy. All right. We're going to have ourselves a full-on party, aren't we? Okay, so that's the radius, which means that army is currently out of range. Right, let's hang back one more turn, then. Before we unleash the dogs. Two fiends, units of the same tier, and the target army fight each other. One dies, and the chance one to do fiend with the tier one have a, have a lion before. Ooh. Now that's fun. Nails ten fire damaged enemies. That sounds fun, too. That sounds more immediately useful. Let's get that. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to put you down right there. No, target not valid. Why not? Oh, does it have to be in friendly territory? Uh... Oh, it must be on a city. Okay. Oh. Well, you're gnarly looking. Chaos Eater. Huh. There you are. I think we're going to cast another one of those. So. Want to come fight? No? Okay. To be fair, I probably wouldn't want to do that either. And this time, we got some fiery horses instead. So that generates random fiends. That's rather neat. Well, prepare your butthole, Mr. Undead, for the canine invasion. Right, so obviously we're going to want the Bolt Reapers, because they're great. And we're going to want the dogs, because they're dogs. And what else? Hmm. That sounds pretty nice, yeah. Half of the defender's towers are destroyed. That sounds great, actually. Right, boys. Line on up, line on up. We've got a city to invade. What? Oh. I, I, I don't even know if I care. Dum, dum, da, dum, dum, dum. What else do I get now then? So, what else do we get? Demon summoning. Ah, more of those. Okay, so there's not that many of them, but there's a couple of variations. Nice. So, how long is this going to take? Uh, two more turns until a breach. Lovely. And a one. Saving the meek. No. No! No, it's one of these. God, the game's going to crash again. Please, please. No. Yep. Every single event that has a role crashes the game. That's a bit of a, uh, it's a bit of an overlooked error right there. Hmm. So far, um, I have not had a single just straight crash, but every single solitary decision 
has always caused a crash. Every time. So that is a pretty uh, blatant problemo that they've got going there. One more turn until... Breach. Somebody didn't uh, program that part of the video game. Alright. So, what is this? I don't know what this does. It, it moves my bar, but I'm not entirely... Okay, so yeah, you can only bring three armies into battle, but it doesn't let you select the armies. Oh, but this doesn't let me bring my bailer in. But I won't bring the bailer in. No, no. Wait, no, is, is, no? Can I, like, what if I retreat? Does that reset everything? It doesn't, thank god. Okay. Right, so now I bring in these units instead. Alright, fine. As long as I can bring my bail out, I'm happy, okay? <laughs> wow. The game is not <laughs> very optimized for the big battles, is it? Like a big, big, uh, big amount of chunky old lag there at the beginning. Dogs, dogs, millions of dogs, billions of dogs, dogs everywhere. Dog, dogs, dogs, dogs. The undead came for all of the delicious life they could strangle out of the planet, but they stayed to be knotted to death by furries. Literally, that is the story of the undead in this universe. What will your tale be of the Age of Wonders? Well, you see... I played as a species of furries, and then I knotted a race of undead to death with literal tithes of war dogs. Hmm. That certainly is an age of wonder. You, you cannot deny that is certainly an age of wonder. Well, that is a good age of wonder. Well, that depends upon everybody else's personal interpretation, I suppose. Come on. Click the button. Bonk. 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 Dogs, 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 dogs. Yeah, the game does get a fair bit old laggy when you've got armies of this side. Is this? It really does. Anyways. Dogs. Dogs, dogs, dogs. Okay. You. Uh, I haven't even seen you swing your fucking weapon yet. Do you have a jumpy spell or something? Oh, nice. Teleportation. Uh, crap. You're just a tiny bit too far away. Um, can you move and still use it? You can't. Uh, still too far away. One more? Uh, right about there, right? Aha! Okay! Well, at least I got to see him swing his axe once. Dog. Dog. And dog. Hmm. Frankly, for some reason, I'm not really too worried about casualties at this point. I feel as if victory is pretty gosh darn secure. Uh, sudden under the earth. Did some under four hex lines, three hex wide. Ooh, Jesus, that's powerful. Chaos Brand. Become berserk until the end of the battle. If not here, you enter into one defend. You know, control upon his death. Okay, that's weird. Hmm. That is a big old bang, though. Jesus. Okay, that tore down literally the entire wall. Nice. Well, that is a wonderful gap for my dogs to pour through. Dogs, 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 dogs. Ah, uh, even as everybody is trembling in fear in their basements, hoping that the furries will not break in and violate them, 
There is a certain subsect of the population of a certain skin color that are absolutely delighted at what is going to happen to them. Oh, well, that missed. More dogs. This is my favorite spell so far. The ability to just have an infinite number of dogs. It is a spell for connoisseurs, in my opinion. And Rocky. You've got a teleportation thingy, don't you? Yes, you do, but it's kind of short range. Maybe... No, let us not do that. That seems like a terrible idea. You have already fired, and the war breeds, and is that just about everything? Yes. Now we're gonna get pelted by magic for a little bit. Well, Mr. Undead, do you have enough spells there in your undead arsenal to stop all of my dogs? Because if you don't, you're only delaying the inevitable butt rape. Seriously. Oh, they really don't like my Baylor, do they? I really don't. Yeah. Ooh, look at them butt cheeks. So soft, so unguarded. So very notable. Well, if the undead didn't want to get invaded, they shouldn't have settled on an island I wanted. That's all I'm going to say about it. Alright, well, our poor little bastard here has gotten a little bit of a beating. Uh, we'll give him some temp... Never mind. We'll give that unit some temporary hit points, because apparently the bailer didn't deserve them. Very well. Alright. Dog. Dog. And dog. 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 Hmm. The enemy defenses appear to be crumbling. Rapidly. Can you teleport now? No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Boom. I do like all of the special abilities that units have in this game, though. Like, I feel like maybe a, a bunch of them make them a little bit too good, a little bit too nuky, but it's nice to also have access to tons of units that can all do tons of unity things, you know? Because it means that they don't get boring. Now, I do imagine that since most of the units have uh, spells dependent upon which tomes you take, you will basically be playing humans, but as long as you play humans of a certain type, you'll play the same as the races of the races do. Which kind of does mean that there's not really any races in the game at all. Like, you just have different religions and flavors of, uh, flavors of units, almost. Which, I don't know, like... It's... It's the problem with having lots of customization, is it? Because if you've got lots of customization then the different units aren't necessarily all that different at the end of the day. But you have a ton of customization, so you have the ability to make races as different as you want, really. Like, if you want an ass load of completely different races that worship completely different gods and use completely different abilities, you can. But if you want humans, good humans, fighting good furries, fighting good toad people, all with the exact same goddamn units, well, you can kind of have that too, which... It's an option. And so long as it is an option, it is fine. The game is struggling a little bit with the performance now as I put everything on auto. And if the, if the game starts skipping a little bit on my computer and probably runs like absolute hot garbage on many other people's computers, I just want to point that out. So, hmm... I do suspect that is probably something to the uh, complaints that the game has some serious performance issues. I would not be surprised. Okay, let's just put him up there. Sure. 
Well, he's back down again now. And as for the crashes... I mean, so far, the only crash I have is a crash that is tied directly to something that happens when you do an event. Because it always crashes when you do an event. So clearly, somebody didn't beta test that hard enough, obviously. But that should be easy enough to patch, because it's it does it in response to a specific thing. So it's one thing that's going wrong, so once you figure out which one thing is going wrong, you can fix that one different thing that's going wrong. Ta-da! My tiny little uh, elf uh, furry demon uh, princess thing. A victor stands proudly upon the remains of their enemies. You subjugated this world through force as the empires of the past did before you. When the dust settles, you will discover whether your cause was just. I don't care. But if you merely fan the flames of entropy. Sure journey. Okay. Hmm. Uh... I do like these little um, end game things, though, to be like, Ah, oh, this is what happened. Like, look. Everybody else was doing way better than you because the AI knew how the games work and you didn't. But then you simply flooded them with dog penis and they all died. Which is a strategy as I have very clearly demonstrated right now. Military ranking? Uh... Yeah, the undead built quite a lot of armies. But, uh, well, then all of their armies died, which was very unfortunate for them. Economy? Uh, the AI was pretty shit at managing the economy all the way through, apparently. Research. Mm, they weren't bad at research. The AI seems sufficiently decent at that. And they expanded around about as fast as I did. I'll tell them that point at least, yeah. Okay. I mean, the AI didn't do awful. I'm presuming it's normal AI, because I just did the, um, the quick world generation thing, so I would guess normal AI. Uh, Dead Snake 989 says, The game runs okay-ish on my potato. Normally, 20 to 30 FPS has some big hiccups sometimes. Okay, so it's not as bad then. Necromancy? Pff, dog magic for the win. Yes, yes, chillax. Correct. Endless tide of undeads. Pfft, it really cannot stand up to an appropriate quantity of canine cock. As we have now demonstrated. Ah. <laughs> oh. Well, that has got to be the uh, saddest defeat that particular necromancer has ever experienced. Has proven worthy to ascend. Oh. Her conquest of the realm. I'm a woman, by the way. I didn't even realize, but I am. The leader will join your pantheon and potentially assist during future conquests. Oh, and then you've got the whole um, unlocked tree. This too is nice, because it gives you a reason to play. It's like, oh, I got a new cool thing. I've got a new costume. That's nice. And you've got different ones for different play styles. Ooh. Plus, it's always nice to just be rewarded at the end of the game, you know? You play the game, you finish the game, and here's the reward for finishing the game. That's cool. I quite like that. It's a nice way to motivate people to actually finish a game, too. Hmm, a knightly cape. We shall have a fancy hat. There. Choose your destination. I have acquired a fancy hat. Tier 3 realm? Oh, that sounds horrifying. Hmm. Right, well, after having finished a game, I think that is a pretty natural wrapping up point. So, uh, some conclusions, shall we? And I, I do hate this. Age of One Expansion Pass. Look, we've already planned like four expansions, say. Eh? Because Paradox. Like, the game will be buried in DLC, of course. But right, okay. Um, gameplay is, is nothing revolutionary. Like, the combat is standard hex-based, turn-based tactics, fairly high lethality. Uh, some units can wipe other units out just... Bump. 
I'm not a massive fan of uh, the magic system. Every everything there is standard, standard, standard. If you played previous Age of Wonders, like Age of Wonders 3 or Age of Wonders Planetfall, you know exactly what you're in for. Um, but with a bit larger battles, which is very, very, very nice. So, all also good. So, so basic, you know. Um, overall gameplay, strategy map, very solid. Plenty of mechanics. You've got diplomacy, you've got research, you've got a ton of tomes, you've got a ton of units, you've got the various, like, religions that give you various units as well, give you various abilities. You can upgrade your race, the magic system is nice and in-depth. You can terraform the landscape if you so choose, you can change your, uh, faction starting stats, you can give them steely skin, you can make them into demons or angels or whatever. Very nice. It seems to be a game with a lot of replayability, although I will say... I, I felt like there wasn't a lot of meat there. Like, it, there, there wasn't a, a lot of, like, good chewiness, you know? I, I feel like I kind of just breezed through that, and I never really got to a point where I was, like, fully... <sighs> I don't know, fully, like, immersed into it. It all felt... It, it's all works, it all's okay, it all's functional, but I was never, like, hooked, in a way. Like, even now, I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking, like, am I gonna play this again? I'm not sure, honestly. Like, it's not like a game like Terra Invicta, where I sit down and I play it, and the next day I'm like, God, I wanna play more Terra Invicta. Or, like, Crusader Kings 2, where you just play, and you play, and you play, and you play. Or even, like, Civilizations, where it's like, one more turn, one more turn, one more turn. It feels like it's not quite as enveloping, and I don't necessarily know even why, because it's got the mechanics, it's got the stuff, but it's not... It's all a little bit bland, in a way. Like, it's, it's all stuff I've seen before. You know, it's... Everything is like, oh yeah, it's that mechanic, it's that mechanic, it's that mechanic. I do spells and stuff. It's like it's it's lacking a bit of spark to really make it special and stand outish. Now, doing different worlds might um, might be a way to get around that too. Like Dead Worlds, where it's a lot more combat, but the combat's not very interesting either, though. That's the thing. Like I, I will, I'm not sitting here and thinking like, gosh, I wanted more combat. In fact, I was getting kind of tired of the combat near the end. There, I was like. It's, hmm. Reminds me of Endless uh, Legend, and it's right wing extremist. All the combat is a lot better than Endless Legend, god damn. That was a really cool game, but ugh, that combat. You may just be an old gamer, Arch. You're probably actually un unironically correct. Because for if you're not a, like, a big into the 4X genre, and you haven't played a lot of these games, you probably won't have the same experience as me with that. But for me, who's, who's played a lot of Her Heroes of Might and Magic, who's played the previous Age of Wonders, has played a ton of uh, grand strategy games, it all just feels a little too light and fluffy, you know? So I'd probably say, if you already know that you like Age of Wonders, like as a series, then this is definitely something for you. No doubt about it. No doubt about it at all. If you're dubious or you prefer Heroes of Might and Magic, this game won't really give you anything particularly different. And it doesn't quite have that spark of the old Heroes of Might and Magic, like 2s and 3s, for example. And if you're a grand strategy enthusiast, you might find it a little bit simple, you know, as well. But it's there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Ironically, there is nothing wrong with it. It's just not quite as 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 good and chewy as I would perhaps prefer in uh, in my preference. <sighs> but it's no here. Yes, right wing streamers again says yeah. But it's no heroes of might and magic three. Mm, yes, yes, sort of. That is kind of the point I'm making. Yes, but. It's certainly the most solid Paradox game they've been released in goddamn years now. So, there you go. It is actually a pretty damn triumphant Paradox game. 
Probably because Paradox was told to stay far, far away from it. And in a, this case, where you've got a good game that's already functional, already has enough mechanics to be worthwhile at its base, then the expansions and the DLC will only add further flavor to it. Which is good. Rather than being mechanics that clearly should have been in the game already, like basic shit. And the game has all of the basic stuff I can remember, really. I would like maybe a skip animation button, perhaps I just missed it, and the speed up does pretty much the same thing, so, mm, not the worst thing. And at least it is not Heroes of Might and Magic 4. Yes, yes, Dora. <laughs> at least it is not Heroes of Might and Magic 4. Right. I'll wrap it up there then. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for your super generous donations and for sticking with me through two separate streams. Because computer. And if you were interested, then you can head on over to stream, uh, Steam and check the game out. Again, it is definitely a decent game. It's just not quite as massive as a old boomer like myself might prefer.